Hi folks, this is Mike Zlatnik, Big Mike, and today's discussion is going to be about fund of funds and the benefits of investing in fund of funds. But before we dive into that, the usual disclaimer, this is for informational educational purposes only. There's no solicitation of any kind, nor any advice is given. Before making any investment decisions, consult with your attorney and CPA professional. If you're interested in investing in any of our funds or syndications, request PPM, private and place memorandum to accredited investors only. Now let's dive into the fund of funds. So fund of funds model is an incredibly powerful model. We use it, we run a family of fund of funds. So what are fund of funds? So fund of funds are generally funds whose objective is to raise the capital from investors and deploy it into many strategies, many locations, many operators across various parts of the United States and into different regions, areas, so funds of funds diversify the capital into other funds, into syndications, into partnerships, into individual ownership transactions, into loans. They basically spread the capital around. So that's how fund of funds function. Let's talk about some of the benefits of investing into fund of funds. So the most obvious and the most powerful benefit is broad diversification. And the reason it's important is you don't know what's going to be a home run it's going to, and what's going to be a strikeout. And spreading the capital among many dimensions of diversification has many benefits. One of the major benefits is lower volatility. So you could do the work yourself. You could spread the money around. You could build your own well-diversified portfolio. Certainly can do that. The reason you use fund to funds is they do it for you and you make one investment, right? One check. And the capital gets spread among many investments. And again, could be different regions of the country, could be different asset classes like multifamily, self-storage, industrial, shopping plazas, certain type of loans, and so on and so forth. It could do with different operators. So this broad diversification has a massive benefit. It really is risk mitigation. As I, and as I mentioned, it reduces volatility. The predictability of all the diversified portfolio is generally way higher than if you made a few individual investments. Now, there are other great benefits of investing your capital into the fund of funds. The next benefit is capital allocation. So what does it mean, capital allocation? Well, the times change. We are living in very dynamic times. And sometimes the markets are doing well, and sometimes they're not doing well, and the economy goes into recession. And the great deals are difficult to find, or on the contrary, they may be easily found in a deep recession. So the capital allocation enables a fund manager to shift capital from certain sectors, strategies, locations, operators into the ones that make better sense. So here's an example. When COVID hit, certain asset classes were suffering, they were dislocated, they were not performing well for a while. For example, ho hotels, hospitality sector got hit. So a fund manager can allocate into projects that convert hotels to affordable workforce housing and creating something in high demand from something that was in low demand. So these type of examples enable the fund manager to modify the strategy with times. This is called capital allocation. It's one of the major benefits of fund of funds investing. Additional benefits. When you diversify yourself and you write many checks, what do you got? You get many tax forms, many K-1s, or many 1099 statements. The consequence is now we have to manage a lot of investments. You have to track a lot of investments. You have to spend time collecting tax information. With a fund of funds, it's a 1K1 at the end of the year. It simplifies your life significantly. Now, you may have to wait to get a K1 longer, but you get a 1K1. So from that perspective, it's a lot easier. And the update process, you only track in one investment instead of a whole bunch of investments. Next, due diligence. Due diligence is not an easy task. It's something hard. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of experience. And for many individual investors who are not professional investors, it's not easy to do due diligence. Now, folks should strive to get better, to learn, to improve in their due diligence ability, but it's hard. So when they do the due diligence and they're successful, that's wonderful. But there are situations when they just can't do the due diligence as they don't have the expertise, the know-how. And this is where investment in a fund of funds can make much better sense because the fund manager their expertise, their team, their track record, their network, their connections can make all the difference 
in identifying strong deals and doing great due diligence on each investment, each syndication, each loan, as well as the operators, folks who operate in these type of assets. So due diligence is a critical benefit of investing in fund of funds as professionals wind up doing the due diligence versus you're trying to do the due diligence yourself. Now, neither one is better than the other one. You could be a great investor over time, gaining experience and picking your own investments. If you get to that point, wonderful. But if you're not comfortable doing your own due diligence or it's, it's hard to do, fund the funds may be a consideration for you. Next, fund the funds generally can negotiate significantly better terms than if you were to invest yourself. Why? A fund the funds can write bigger checks, number one. Number two, can write more programmatic checks. So these, uh, these bigger checks, more programmatic checks, create more leverage, more buying power for the fund manager. And as the result, they can get into better terms. So here is an example. Let's just say you write a $100,000 check directly into another fund. And that fund has a $100,000 class of units. And the same fund could have a half a million dollar class of units and a million dollar class of units and $2 million class of units. The fund of fund, for example, the fund of manager can write $2 million and negotiate better terms because they've got a bigger check and because they're going to write $2 million today and they can write another $2 million into the next deal or the next fund. That is power. That's negotiation power. And that's a key benefit to you as an investor. By participating in a fund of funds, you're, you're benefiting from the fact that the fund manager has negotiated better terms. Now, there are certain costs, additional costs, and some downside of fund of funds. So it's full, full disclosure, not everything is perfect. So fund of funds, one of the major concerns that people have had with fund of funds is the claim, well, there are double fees. If I invest in the syndication directly, I'm only paying the fees to the sponsor. But if I invest in your fund and your fund is investing in the same deal, now I'm, I'm paying management fees to the syndicator and I'm paying management fees to you as a fund manager. And that is true. There's absolutely truth to that. So there's a lot of benefits and there's some costs. Uh, everything is a trade-off. It's not a perfect world. So the cost is compensation to the fund of fund manager and their team to do the due diligence, to network, to be able to um, negotiate better terms, to diversify, to allocate capital. All that is worth additional fees. And quite often, investors, what do they really care about at the end of the day? Is risk-adjusted return. If the risk-adjusted return is strong and volatility is lower, this is a better, in many ways, better consideration versus writing a whole bunch of individual checks, doing a lot of due diligence yourself, and spending the time managing a complex portfolio. So these are pros and cons, different strokes for different folks. But this presentation with this educational video was just to give, compare and contrast some of the benefits and some of the drawbacks of fund to funds. Appreciate your time and attention until the next time. Thank you.